What's going on guys, Orza here and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we are looking at the flashback Tony Cruz card. Finally, finally, finally it is here. It, it got added in three days ago to the concepts, but then it ended up actually getting removed. But everyone's sorry, it was all over Footbin, it was all over Footwiz. So, you know, we was expecting the card at some point and finally it is actually here. He looks like one of those cards, by the way, that's going to have that defensive presence, but also going to have that attacking presence to his game. Now, if we are comparing this card to his latest in form, we are looking at a plus 23 to pace, a plus 6 to shooting, a plus 3 to passing, a plus 5 to dribbling a plus four to defending and a plus five to physicals as well he is a six foot player which means that interception reach that tackle reach in that midfield isn't actually going to be too bad he's got medium medium work rates which are quite interesting three star skill moves but a five star weak foot now when it comes down to which chem style i have gone for it's simply the shadow chem style i feel like tony cruz might be a pretty good cam but i feel like he will be an amazing an absolutely amazing center mid in like a 4-1-2-1-2 or even like a 4-4-2 so that's the main position i will be trying him in today but i'm also going to try him in that cam position and also in the cdm position either way he's got 92 acceleration with the 85 sprint speed so the guy is clearly not slow in that midfield now the shooting ability just hear this 84 attacking positioning, 84 finishing, 98 shot power, 94 long shots, 90 volleys with the 80 penalties. It's pretty decent. It's pretty decent for a center mid. And if we are looking at the shooting traits, unfortunately, he does not have any. If this guy had the finesse shot trait with those kind of long shots, wow. Just wow. Now, the passing ability, we all know Tony Cruz. We all know what he does in real life. The guy can ping the ball from one side of pitch completely to the other. So, he has got 94 vision, 92 crossing, 88 freaky accuracy, 97 short passing, 97 long passing with the 90 curve as well with a five star weak foot which means he's going to be able to do that with either foot every single time now his dribbling ability doesn't look outrageously good but it doesn't look outrageously bad he's got 80 agility 87 balance 94 reactions 94 ball control 85 dribbling with the 93 composure if we are looking at the defensive stats he's got 97 interceptions which is really impressive 66 heading accuracy 82 defensive awareness 88 standing tackling with the 80 88, sorry, 88, sorry, a 78 slide tackling. Now, when it comes down to the physicals, the guy has got 34 jumping, which is a bit weird, but it is what it is. He's got 87 stamina, so he should be lasting for out the whole 90 minutes. He has got 80 strength to his game with the 64 aggression. So, when it comes down to the physicality, he doesn't look outrageously good there, but hopefully, he's going to be one of those players that can obviously put in a very solid tackle. When it comes down to the links, he's from the La Liga. He's also German, so you can link him up with Goretzka. You link him up with Marco Royce if you run, really want to. Or you can link him up with Fatty, Isco, Joao Felix, Deco. There's so many people you can link up with this guy. I've also got likes of Carlos Alberto, Fofana and your boy Rio Ferdinand in this team. I will be using Tony Cruz in a 4-4-2 in that centre mid position, in a 4-2-3-1 in that CDM position and also in the cam position. But let's get into the games. So the first thing we are going to do is actually see how he feels on the ball. Going to go for that ball roll. Okay, elastic dribbling doesn't seem too bad. I am noticing his touches though. His touches go a bit too far away from his feet. So he's not going to be that kind of player to go for those instant turns. You are going to struggle a little bit when dribbling with him. So just keep that in mind. You know, you don't want to overdo it with him. Just keep it very calm. Touch, pass. Simple as that. Going to give it to Deco. Straight through to Juan Felix. Is he going to run, run into the middle? The thing is with him having medium, medium work rates is what I'm going to feel like he's going to do is he's not going to run into those spaces. Like if he had high medium work rates, he would have been one of those players that ran into the space, you know, be a bit more aggressive. But because he's only got medium, medium, I feel like he's going to stay in that CDM position the majority of the time. So we have got a free kick here, 19 yards out. The guy... I for a second there, I looked at the keeper. I was like, the guy has pushed the keeper back into his goal. I want to see, is it, oh, is he going to do this? I reckon, yeah, he's going to be one of those ones. He's going to be one of those ones. Let me see if I can still get this in. Hopefully I can. Going to try to green time it. It didn't go too far up. Can we get a long shot with him? Let's go for a volley. Why not? Win the header. No, come on. Let's go. Going to pass it to Cruz real quick. The good thing about playing him in that CDM position is the fact that he can swing a ball like that because he is going to have that space to his game. But what a pass that was. Hopefully, he can actually go forward a little bit here. 
Where is he? He's all the way back there. Yeah, the guy literally does not go forward at all in that CDM position, boys. I'm going to force him to go forward because I want to try to get a long shot with him. Let's see. Can I go for the turn? Little ball roll. Nice little shielding. Really good shielding. Oh, my God. Can we go for the long shot? No. There wasn't a lot of power into that either. I don't know why that looks like, you know, kind of flew over the crossbar. But really good strength. Can I go for that interception? Just couldn't get it. His transition speed, by the way, is slower than what I expected it to be. Like, if I show you guys right here, like, me moving left, you see how slow he is to actually get out to his opponents? Can't go for that. I'm going to put in... I thought that was a penalty for a second. I'm going to be honest. The how that's a clean tackle, I will never understand. But yeah, his transition speed is not that great, boys. Going to go for that ball. It's a really good pass. Really good pass. Keep going. Keep going. Little ball roll. I'm going to go for the finesse shot. He's going to move the keeper. Robin, is that Cruz on the edge? It is Cruz on the edge. Another problem you're going to have is actually creating angles with this guy. Can I go for the finesse shot? Oh my God. The, how far was that? That was probably like 20... What was it, like 25 yards out, 24 yards out? That was a beauty, an absolute beauty of a long shot. But as I was saying, it's going to be quite difficult to actually create angles with him because he's only got three-star skill moves. Going to try to go for this interception. I feel like he's going to hit it to one of these strikers. There you go. Can I catch on to him? I can't. I'm telling you, boys, he is not the fastest of players in that CDM position, but he is going to put in a good tackle there. Yeah, he's just a little bit too slow to get out to his opponent. So the way you have to use him, if you're thinking of using this guy in a CDM position, is be a bit more passive. Don't be too aggressive, because if you be too aggressive, you're just going to find him in pretty much no man's land, and he's not going to get involved to go in for a tackle or anything like that. Just use him as like a calm and kind of, you know, passive kind of player to just wait for the perfect moment to then go in for a tackle. That was unlucky. Bring him forward. Well played. Not the greatest touch going around the corner. Continue to go forward. Should we go for a long shot here? Let's go for it. Why not? At the end of the day, it's not going to get on target. I might actually start to, you know, green time that because I feel like green timing finesse shots at that distance is going to at least get it on target, you know? Let's bring him forward here. Give him the ball here. Going to go for that finesse shot. It's a lot of power. A lot of power behind that finesse shot. And that is something I'm noticing after every single shot he's taking. That shot power is so noticeable. Going to try to get out to him. Can I get into him? Look at the strength, by the way. Like, the guy only has, what, 80 strength? And he's coming out with, with like, opportunities like that. That is ridiculous for a player that hasn't got a lot of strength to his game. Cruz, going to try to press him real quick. Can I get out to him? Just couldn't get out to him. Trying to run back into the position. Not going to allow that through ball. It is going to allow that through ball. Can I put in a tackle? He puts in a good tackle, but we are, we are going to get unlucky. Yeah, boys, I'm telling you right now, defensively, he ain't outrageously good. He's one of those players that's going to be okay at defense, but you're going to notice him way more when you're actually just, you know, kind of going forward. You're going to notice him way more with his passing ability, with his shooting ability. And let's even say with a bit of a dribble, ability as well. Cruz on the ball. Passing through the middle to Joao Felix. Is he going to make that run up? He is going to make that run up. Can I go for a finesse shot? This is what's going to be really, really nice about him. Like, getting into that angle right there is going to be super overpowered with, overpowered with him because of the long shots. Because of the shot power. And it's going to be really nice to see him actually go forward. I don't really feel like CDM position, boys, I'm going to be honest, is not the way to go with him. If you're going to get this card, play him in a center mid position or the cam position. That's when you... But that's when you're going to utilize him to his full potential. In that CDM position, I just don't feel like it's it. Going to try to be aggressive here. Try to go for that interception. That's a really nice interception. Can we turn? Yes, we can. R1 turn. That's a pretty good turn. Referee, sort him out. It's a red card. Oh, my. Okay, maybe not sort him out like that. I thought for a second it was going to be a yellow. Oh, we move on. Red card. Okay. Going to go for that interception. Well played. Can I go for that turn? I can. Can I use that pace? He hasn't got a lot of it, but he is slowly going to try to get around that corner. Is he going to go back into the center? He should. There you go. Give me that option. Should we go for a finesse shot? This is going to be ambitious if we do. Why not, boys? Why not? No. Okay. I kind of ruined it. I took too long. I should have just went for it. Come on, Cruz. Give it to him right here. Fatty, are you going to stay on? Or Joao Felix. That's a good pass. Going to cut it back to the in middle. He's in a really good position. I am going to go for the finesse shot. This guy's long shots are a joke. Just think about it for a second. This guy has, hasn't even got the finesse shot trait. And he's pulling out shots like this. That's how good it is. Going to try to press a little bit. Can I get into him? I can get into him. Well played. 
Please, come on. Keep going forward. No, he saw I wanted to pass back to Tony Cruz. But good interception either way. So it is time to review him. Three games played, three goals scored with the zero assist as well. Boys, we all know though. We all know. If this guy wanted to get an assist, he could easily, easily get one. Because his passing ability, left foot, right foot, it doesn't matter. It's going to get onto the player the majority of the time. And that's something that I really did enjoy about him. The fact that I know if I give him the ball and I just swing a ball no matter where, it's most likely going to get onto the end of the player. So, so confident when it came down to his passing ability. Now, stuff like his strength was quite surprising because you look at his strength and you think to yourself, 80 strength, that's probably going to be okay, but it's not going to be anything outrageously good, you know? But boys, this guy was bodying players for fun. I was honestly shocked about it. But either way, let's go into the first question. Is he worth it? I'm going to be honest, if you're looking at like a kind of sweaty level or like a top 200 kind of level, no. He is not worth the 300k because he isn't that kind of player. He's not a player that's going to get into, you know, these, these pro players teams and a player that's going to be extremely sweaty. But right, this card right here, if you're looking at it as like a kind of fun card, he is worth it. Because he is super fun when it comes down to the long shots. Like, you saw the long shots I was taking. You saw the long shots that went in. You get him into that central position, it's a goal. 100% it's going to be a goal but the reason he's not really a meta kind of player is because his dribbling is not outrageously good his uh, transition speed is not outrageously good he hasn't got a lot of pace to his game either when running with the ball he's just one of those players that is going to be a fun card to use but it's not going to be on like a competitive kind of level you know well let's get into the ratings pace wise I am going to give his pace I would honestly say I'll probably say like an 8.3 out of 10. Nothing really, really impressive. As I said, his transition speed is one of those ones where you can obviously go left and right with, but if you commit too hard to one side, you are not going to recover the other way. As simple as that. Shooting ability, you have to give him a decently high rating when it comes down to shooting. His shot power was ridiculously good. So for shooting, I am going to give it, I would honestly say, probably like a solid 8.8, 8.9 8 out of 10. He has to be up there. He really does. His shot power just carried, literally carried that ball into the back of the net. Beautiful to see. Passing ability, I have to give his passing a 10 out of 10. I really do. It was top tier. Like left foot, right foot, it didn't matter. It was going to get onto the player. Dribbling ability, this is where it has to be, you know, quite a decently low rating because it wasn't outrageously good. It was one of those ones where you can left stick dribble if you want to, but just don't overdo it because you are going to lose the ball. You are going to get countered and you are most likely going to concede. So for dribbling, I would honestly say, I'll please say like an 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10 on the dot. And the reason it's an 8 out of 10 is because I did see his reactions. I did see his composure was very good as well. I noticed his ball control. It says 94. I didn't really feel like that in game. I felt like the ball kind of went a bit too far away from his feet time to time, which is something I really don't enjoy. But yeah, for dribbling, I'll give it an 8 out of 10. Defending ability, transition speed, not the greatest. Interceptions, they were good. I did it. I did really enjoy his interceptions and I did really enjoy his standing tackles. Like he went in very aggressive when it came down to tackles, which is always a good thing to see. But his defensive awareness was something I literally didn't see because of those medium, medium work rates. It was like a situation where he didn't drop deep for like far enough and it kind of just left him in a no man's land kind of place every single time and it was something i really didn't enjoy so for, de for defending i am gonna give this guy i would honestly say i'll probably say like an 8.1 8.2 out of 10 nothing insane but it's still okay you know physicals strength as i said really impressive stamina did last for the whole 90 minutes in pretty much every single position and the aggression was higher than he actually says. I don't believe it's 64. I really don't. Because the way he goes in for tackles. And the way he fights for the ball. Is very very aggressive. So for physicals. I am going to give him. I'll probably say like a solid. I'll probably say like a solid 8.4. 8.4 slash an 8.5 out of 10 but an overall rating out of 10 these these, these uh, stats are going up and down weren't they I'm gonna give him as an overall rating who oh, I'll probably give him like an 8.4 8.4, 8.5 out of 10 if you are looking at it as like a fun level. If you're looking at it as a more of like a meta kind of level, I'll probably drop that down to like an 8.3. He's just one of those cards that you're going to enjoy if, you're ha if you have fun in this game. 
But if you are more of a competitive kind of player, do not get Tony Cruz because you're going to spend 300k on a player that you'll most likely have someone already better than him, if you know what I mean. But I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, make sure to leave a comment. But for now, peace.